Hey, how's it going? The crack. Um, so, been a while. Um, yeah, I had a counselling session recently, and um, well, not counselling assessment, but and it was intense. And so, yeah. Um, basically, what the part of it, like the one that's really kind of in the face is um, when basically I have a very vivid memory of being bullied and a certain incident that was um, incredibly homophobic um, so yes I have been crying for the last hour and I came out of nowhere anyway um, so basically I've been having this dream over and over again and I remember every bit of it, I remember every sound, smell, taste, I remember every f person's face that was there, I, um, yeah, so, um, I always thought I was, I want to say over it, because I don't, like, feel like, it feels like a really, sh you know, nah for prescribed nonsense kind of thing or whatever, or even insensitive. Um, so the gist of it was we were, I was on a bus, the school bus home, and some dude behind me called me a fag. I was only 14 at the time and I just turned around and said, yeah, well, what's wrong with that? And then I got smashed across the face um, a couple of times. And everyone in the bus was cheering them on. And I was all on my own. From that moment on, getting the school bus was terror. And... I don't think I'm cool with it. Well, I'm not cool with it, of course. But I don't think I'm coping with that well. And maybe that's why I have so much, like, problems. Or one of many problems. It could be why I have no social skills, because I spent most of the time trying to hide or be prepared for the next attack or stuff like that or it could be why I'm so anxious all the time especially when I go in such social situations it could be it's also maybe why I'm depressed um it could be a lot of things and today just really got to me I just popped in my brain and then it was just tissues out and crying so that wasn't good and the thing about it is like I've had a family member who says oh you should just get over it and the thing is like no no it's not like oh just get over it but I know these people who committed these acts it's never entered their head. I'm never going to have closure. I'm never going to have an apology. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's, I suppose, this helplessness and feelings of, like, I don't know. But I'll never get closure on it because I'm pretty sure these people probably don't even um, have never even thought about it. It doesn't even enter their head in a fraction of a second. So they have no idea like what they've done and how much damage they've done um so yeah basically when this happened when we, it was reported they denied everything everyone on the bus pretty much everyone on the bus denied that it even happened so um so that set me off today and i was already kind of feeling a little fragile anyway because i've had a a bad mental health week um so i've just in the head 
and I don't know why that just popped in my head. Um, this is back in '95, so it wasn't long after decriminalisation. So homophobia was rampant back then. Um, but yeah, I still remember everything about it, and I have nightmares about it. I wake up and I wake up crying. And this afternoon, late this afternoon, it just popped in my brain and I cried for near an hour. Um, and it's it sucks because I'm never going to get an apology. I'm never going to even have the process of the acknowledgement that like it happened. And that sucks. That really is very hard to like... And, like, my forgiveness is mine to give. And it is conditional, and it's conditional in that, like, that part, these people have to admit what happened. There is no way to get beyond that until it happens. So the only other thing I can do is just find a way to, like, manage it. Manage not deal with it, not get over it, but just manage it. And everyone's different. I don't know what other people's stories are, but yeah, management is the only thing I can think of that would probably even come close to fixing it. Or not fixing it, because I don't think it's ever going to be fixed. It's damage. Damage is done. It's just trying to you know, cope with it, that like, it's not as bad as it could be, so, yeah, not good, <laughs> it's not a good day, <laughs> not a good day, um, I mean, there's other stuff as well, but I also think it kind of makes me feel that maybe that's why I feel so lonely and isolated. Um, it's because I'm predisposed to it because I never felt like I haven't had anyone to has my back. When I was a kid, and I think that's why, um, as the addiction counselor said, I am. Um, was an alcohol abuser, not addicted to an abuser because I would drink alcohol very quickly to get past my anxiety and to make myself feel better in social situations and alcohol is a depressant and so there's always like you might feel good now but then it's like Shh. and when you're like under the influence of alcohol or drugs or whatever when you're in that kind of space, uh, you're not a risk to people, you're a risk to yourself. So that's why I gave up. And yeah, ever since then, it's been really hard to make friends. Going out was really difficult. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. Just sucks balls <laughs> big hairy sweaty sacky balls I know some people are into it but I'm not <laughs> keep, keep them clean um, so basically yeah that will hit me today and yeah I guess when I finish here I'm going to take the dog for a walk and then it's just going to be like <clears throat> for the rest of the night <laughs> Um, maybe watch Airplane because it's kind of like a go-to film. But anyway, I digress. The whole point of this is just, yeah, the whole homophobia thing. And um, not ever, like, <sighs> never being able to, like, have closure. And never being able to even begin the process of like forgiveness or getting over it because you can't until people admit what happened or 
what they did and the damage they did but the thing is these people probably don't even think about it they, they have no idea no idea whatsoever so that's where I'm at and there's like a probably another 10 to 15 things else that I probably need to talk about but I just thought I'd meant to talk about that one um it's Pride Week here in Galway, so I guess it kind of feels appropriate to talk about this one. And um, yeah, I'm sure there's many other people I've had to deal with it and stuff. But yeah, yeah, it sucks. It sucks balls. Um, getting old, dude. <laughs> getting old. Talking to people today, and they don't make, they don't know their references from like years ago I was like oh my god these young people don't know what I'm talking about I'm so old um which is fine it just has so much damage <laughs> so much damage but now this, this lights go weird but anyway uh, I know I probably could edit this or something but I don't just uh. anyway so that's what's going on if you haven't heard from me, if you even watch this, I do not know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah, that's what's really fucking triggered me today. So, I guess I'll leave it at that. And, um, yeah. So, basically, if you've suffered something similar, um, yeah, it sucks. You're probably not going to get closure. Yeah, but don't ever let somebody tell you, oh, just get over it because that's um, devaluing the damage and the pain and the hurt that you actually have. And when somebody says something like, oh, think of this per person who lives in this terrible country. Yes, they live in this war torn country or whatever, but it doesn't make things better for you and it doesn't it shouldn't be used to delegitimize your pain um, because everybody is worth something so you are worth something um, so don't feel bad yeah I have a problem with this this is something I'm you know this is one of the things that came up for me now and um I'm sure other people have as well and don't feel bad about saying no I will not just get over it and no I will not just forgive because you shouldn't unless the individuals or individual has began the process of like acknowledging even acknowledging not even apologizing acknowledging it this no don't even don't even let anyone think you you can forgive it's for your forgiveness is for you to forgive um so yeah i'm I'm sure there's other people who've gone through this or something similar and yeah all i can say is it gets a little bit better but you're gonna have like bad days where it just keeps coming back up i don't know maybe counseling will help i don't know maybe maybe not i don't know but don't feel bad about like and don't let anyone belittle you if you're like it's not it's not a case of just just get over it or think of this person who lives in this worn torn country yeah that's bad but like you you're you know you have self worth as well so it doesn't devalue your pain and suffering um even though there's probably people out there who would love to have you think so so yeah basically yeah that's what i'll say got really upset about it today cried about it for near an hour and nothing i can do about it just gotta go with the flow and forgiveness no um, get it, just get over it no deal with it yeah it's the best you can do it's the best of a shitty situation so yeah hopefully you kind of 
if anyone's out there and they've had that experience, you have friends who are actually really good. Um, if you have friends, fair play to you, you've done better than me. Um, wish, wish I was as good as you, if that's the case. Um, and you're awesome. And, yep. So, yeah. Don't know if that helps. That's my opinion on it. And as I said, if you got cool friends uh, who kind of like help you around it, you're a legend. Fair play to you. You know. Better than me. <laughs> Better than me. You should be proud of yourself. So. Yeah. That's my little piece for today.